I'm building a custom cooler to fit precisely into an area of my boat. So the first thing I'm doing is measuring and testing for size, construction integrity, and acceptable glues. Uh, and this is my test piece. The next job is to start cutting foam panels with my table saw to my measurements using the original test section as a guide. I finished foam construction and I'm applying fiberglass sheet panels to the outside surface. I will sand the outside fiberglass edges flush to the surface after the glue dries and I just finished fitting the interior lining. I built the two top access covers using the same materials and techniques. The completed cooler is designed to stay in the boat so there are no handles or straps and there are no hinges or latches on the lid. Tops are held in place by gravity and friction. It's a little over four feet long so I will need some help setting it in place. This is the cooler under the boat companionway. There are a few strips of non-slip material under the cooler. We have used the cooler several times now and even on the hottest weekends it can keep ice for six days. No problem loading up the cooler two days before we take the boat out for a long weekend and nothing else we've used comes close to the size and performance of this cooler. I have our one step into the boat velcroed into place for quick removal and access to the smaller cooler lid. Before a trip I will load half the cooler with frozen water containers. No loose ice. And I should add, you can purchase everything needed to build this at Home Depot.